Two of them are two inches tall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, cool. Oh, I missed it. before this project. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that idea, but what if we did this? Okay. Instead of just saying, yeah, that's yeah, stupid, do it this way. We <laughs> said to work efficiently as a group. Like, we had a lot of parts to make, and we, if we didn't, you know, work together and actually, you know, say, hey, you do this. Um, the magical tower. <laughs> when we were trying to build our tower, we wanted to make it all centered and be able to hold a lot of weight. So we made it go slowly up to make it more aesthetically appealing and to make it more lightweight. And then also the cutouts were used to make it look better, as well as it took off a lot of grams that will help our ratio go less. So we learned a lot about teamwork, and I think our group worked really well because we all lived on campus, so we could meet up outside of class a lot. The young squawk of bulls. <laughs> inside these cylinders, we have little tubes um, that we rolled up and uh, that are stuffed in there. And hopefully those will support the weight that's going to the cross section to be a circle. So that's what we wanted to do. So we made a cylinder based design. And um, we knew that if the cylinder is shorter, it would be stronger. So we decided to go for multiple layers and to have kind of like different two layout, two different layouts, and we would alternate the layouts. Triangles was our main. Uh, yeah, we had the triangles, and then we tried to uh, space them out equally so that they didn't like move. And then we put uh, the little um, ten by six millimeter like bars. Yeah, to try to hold four because each tower got smaller. We tried to hold the next one up. Well, we stuck with our initial prototype, prototype design, which made it easy. We had the honeycomb interior to the tower, uh, five different blocks stacked on top of each other, and reinforcements. The glue was pretty weak, so it took a long time um, because we were using tubes for the inside, so you'd have to hold it for like 30 seconds each tube. And since we had over 300, that took a lot of the time. We just uh, assigned different parts. Like, I did the bottom half, like the base, and then she did the middle, and then Autumn did the top. In our prototype, it ended up being too heavy because we used a lot of glue. And that was because when you use squares, you're going to have to glue a lot more spots than if you were to make a circle, which was our final tower. We used circles instead of squares because we used a lot of less glue. Like, got to be creative with it. I've never thought of building a tower out of file folders before, so... I didn't know that file folders could be so strong, and it was amazing that they could, that they could hold so much weight. 
if you built the built the towers right? Well, the hardest thing about building a structurally strong tower out of paper is that it's out of paper. We went for a very simplistic, um, almost minimalistic approach. Um, we tried to uh, cut down on the amount of pieces that we used um, and, and use the simplest technique that we could think of because um, we thought that simplicity would, would uh, provide the maximum strength. And we all came together as a team and we did really well. Well, the curve is so 